Okay, you know what old houses and women have in common? You gotta strip them down to nothing with the lights on to know if you want to spend the rest of your life with them. Okay, today on Fuck This Old House, we are talking about old walls. I mean, these <laughs> this, these walls are probably about 100 years old. Yeah, 100 years old. So, uh, I mean, this whole house, well, most of it, it's weird, like 69% of the house, this is the siding. It's old, like two by sixes. Hard to believe, like, this wallpaper is like 100 years old. I mean, look how thick this wallpaper is it's like ugh. i mean that is like that's crazy wallpaper man crazy they literally had the electrical just under like some plaster and shit actually them boards are really nice i mean i love a lot of people do too i mean look at that oh man that's really nice i'm gonna keep this one. you know what i might uh yeah a lot of people love this old wood because it just the age i mean it really looks nice so, what I did in the other room, I put some drywall up. It's really hard because you can see, you get a lot of waves in here. It's really hard to get drywall on there, right? Uh, you can, like I did, I ran them sideways, but then you, you still, it's hard. I was going to do tongue and groove on here. So, unfortunately, there's a door there. I could transplant some of that over to there. I don't know. I'll have to see what the boss says. But... So yeah, you can do tongue and groove, which really, I mean, look at that though. I mean, these were walls, like these weren't, I mean, they had plaster over them, but I mean, these things are like fucking bulletproof, man. That's what I saw about old houses, like they suck to work on, they really do, but man, were they built fucking amazing. I mean, like, this is the wall, like fucking drywall, you know, no drywall, just goddamn two by sixes. There's like two layers of them too so yeah if you run in this old house it's kind of good kind of hard to work with but like i said i'm just kind of working on this old thing just kind of making some fuck this old house episodes along the way Let's see what else we get into brother okay sorry for the wonky light it's pretty late feels really late anyhow so what you could do with walls like this you can, uh, this is what I'm going to do. This is probably what I'm going to do for this wall. This is tongue and groove. It's eight inches wide. It has a tongue. Next one will have a groove. It also has a groove in the front. And then flat on the back. So whichever, whichever way you want out. You can stain them. You can paint them. Uh, it's a lot easier to build these straight on top of the wall. And it actually looks really good. It's a little expensive. Uh, but it looks good. Another thing you can do, like these walls... You see me rip them down there. They, they're a plaster board. So you put the board down like drywall. And then you plaster over top of them. It's probably about your best bet. It's kind of hard. It's expensive too. The other room, I did do drywall. It's kind of hard because they're so uneven. You just got to kind of work with it and mud in the gaps. But it, it doesn't come out that good. It's pretty hard. Another thing that you could do if you really wanted to do drywall, you have to frame it. You know, put maybe a one by one. Just frame the whole way. And that would make it give you straight for drywall and it wouldn't take up too much space. But then again, you got to buy wood and cut and everything. So this is, this is a nice, easy way to kind of cover up one wall. And this wall here, actually I can get away with probably one, one sheet probably of drywall. I can make that one work. So yeah, this is some quick little tips. If you have a old fucking house like this and you're like, fuck this old house and you want to burn it down, maybe this will help you.